Warning, this podcast contains strong, offensive, and misogynistic language that some listeners may find offensive. The name's Vert. Personal, original Vert. And I run the P. Vert Detective Agency. The year is 2055, and the police have been defunded. So if you need a police investigation, the cops will charge you a thousand big ones a day. Because of this, the government introduced the P.I. Act, where the private investigators can undercut the police so justice can become affordable. These are my case files. Dispatch to Alpha 5010. Alpha 5010, do you read? Yeah, I read you. What's going on at Dispatch? Alpha 5010, well, uh, we're just checking in what you're doing today. What do you mean, what am I doing today? I'm waiting for you guys to give me a call. Alpha 5010, you should be a bit more proactive. Alpha 5010 to dispatch, what do you mean be more proactive? What, do you want me to encourage someone to get murdered so I can go around and get paid? Alpha 5010, please do not be selfish. You do know that we all rely on the same funding when someone picks up a job. Alpha 5010 to dispatch, come on, don't be like that. You know, it's been a while since I've been paid and I hate having the statutory pay, which is nothing. The gum shoes earn more money than what we do sometimes. Alpha 5010, well why don't you go off your fat ass and go out and find some crime and get us some pay. Alpha 5010 to dispatch, how about you go and find some work for us to do. You could always pick up the phone, see if there any uh, hookers slapped around a few uh, pimps or vice versa a little bit and hopefully that one of them's died in hospital so we can have an investigation. Alpha 5010 that is absolutely terrible behaviour and, sh- and a shocking shocking attitude. What are you doing right now I'd like to know. Alpha 5010 is a dispatch. I'm sat in my car picking my nose and flicking bogeys at the passerbys. And why are you doing that Alpha 5010? Well, I was hoping that someone would actually start a fight with me so then I can then send them an invoice after I've beaten them up. Over. Alpha 5010, that is a stroke of genius. I must relay that to a lot of other people when I'm sat on my chair and spinning around doing nothing next. Brilliant, dispatch. Brilliant. Well, uh, do you have any further suggestions? Yeah, I have some suggestions. This is dispatch. Who is on the line? This is Gumshoe. Mr. Percival Vert. Oh, it is you, Mr. Pervert. It's Percival Reginald Vert to you, or Mr. Vert. What is your problem, Mr. Vert? Why are you listening in to the police channel? Well, I have every right to listen to the police channel to see what's going on. As stated in the Code of Ethics and as stated in the Code of Ethics and Principles of being a private detective. This is dispatch to Mr. Vert. I'd like to know your license number, please. Yeah, it's suck my hairy balls, you, lo- you dopey little prat. This is dispatch to Mr. Vert. Please refrain from using such language on our channel. Hey, how about you follow the same advice, dickhead? Right, this is dispatch. If anyone knows where Mr. Vert is and is nearby, please pay him a visit and teach him a lesson. How about you go and suck my fucking balls, you lazy, good for nothing piece of fucking filth. This is Alpha 5010 to dispatch. Don't worry about him. He's just got that reputation where he thinks he can say and do what he wants. Yeah, I can say and do what I want and I still earn more money than you. How about you tell me how much you guys earned last month? This is Dispatch. Mr. Vert, it's none of your business. Then quit whinging about not doing any work and get off your lazy asses and earn yourself some money, you little fucking mugs. Mr. Vert, this is Dispatch. If it wasn't for people like you bustling in on our territory and undercutting us, we would actually be earning a livable wage. Well, if you don't like it, why don't you come commercial like me? This is Alpha 5010. He does have a point, Dispatch. Everyone knows he has a point, and everyone knows that is valid, but we are locked into our contracts for five years at a piece. This is Alpha 5010. Well, I think I can actually get away with going commercial, because I've just done my fifth year about two months ago. Dispatch Alpha 5010. Well, 
That's good for you, yeah? I've got another year to go. Well then, how about you come and join me then, Alpha 5010, instead of turning up and being a right dickhead to me? How about you come and turn up and you work for me? This is Alpha 5010. Well, that is very tempting, Mr. Bat, but I also know that you've got a reputation for being a sleazy, horrible piece of scum. Yeah, and you say that like it's a bad thing? I still earn more money than you, and I still charge the bare minimum just to get business. What would you do? Say that you're an ex-police officer? Yeah, people are really gonna want to employ you then, aren't they? Because everyone knows that you just sat around in your cop car flicking bogeys at people to try and start a fight so you can then earn some money out of arresting that piece of shit. This is Dispatch to Alpha 5010. Pay no attention to Mr. Dirt. You will pay attention to me because I'm successful and you're a piece of shit. How about you go and do some work, you bogey flicking little bastard? This is Dispatch to Mr. Vert. How about you get off our line before we arrest you for wasting police time? Yeah, but who's gonna pay you to arrest me? <laughs> You're gonna be paying yourself? It's not gonna work. It's gonna go. It's gonna still be up all above board. The days of the police abusing the public are well and truly over. This is Alpha 5010 to dispatch. He does have a really good point. Yeah, well, thank you. I mean, Sherlock Holmes, Mr. Alpha 5010, you really are a good detective, aren't you? Come and work for me. I'll pay you £50 a day, which is £50 more than what you'll normally get. Dispatch to Alpha 5010. Please ignore Mr. Vert. He's just having you on. He will not intend to pay you £50. He'll probably give you £25. This is Alpha 5010 to Mr. Vert. Are you having a laugh? How can anyone live off 50 quid a day? Well, how can anyone live off your basic of £10 a day? Well, which is what you get when you don't actually make any arrests. This is Alpha 5010. I'm going off comms for a moment because I really feel like uh, I need to have a long, hard think about things. This is Dispatch Alpha 5010. You do not leave your comms. I repeat, you do not turn them off. You do not ignore your comms. You are to stay on channel at all times in case there is an emergency or someone's actually paid for an investigation. Do you understand Alpha 5010? Yeah, Alpha 5010. How about you uh, finish off listening to these sacks of shit, go back to base, return your car and come and find me and I'll give you some work. I've got a few jobs going on at the moment. You can register to be a gumshoe and work on the same day. This is Alpha 5010. I think he really has got a point. How about you come along and go private too, Dispatch? This is Dispatch to Alpha 5010. You do not talk about stuff like this over the line. The boss has just heard all of this and he's going absolutely mental. Well, how about you tell your boss to shut himself in a bin and listen to Phil Collins whilst we go and earn some money? This is Dispatch to Mr. Vert. Who is Phil Collins? <laughs> this is dispatch to Mr. Vert. That means absolutely nothing to me. This is Vert to dispatch. How about you go into a music library on your phone, on your computer, or even go to a physical record shop and ask to be played a Phil Collins song? It'll always be that particular song. <laughs> This is Dispatch to Mr. Vet. Did you just deliberately burp down the comms? Yes, I did. And I may just fart down the comms next. Mr. Vet, that is incredibly disrespectful. You've got the entire district listening to us. Yes, I know. And the entire district, including the gumshoes, are listening to you wasting time talking about bogey flicking and doing absolutely nothing. We all laugh at you. You have to understand this. This is Dispatch to Alpha 5010, are you there? This is Dispatch to Alpha 5010, are you there? Alpha 5010, this is Dispatch, please respond. Please respond, Alpha 5010, what are you doing? This is Alpha 5010, sorry, I was just thinking about stuff. Alpha 5010, I told you not to turn your comms off. Oh, I didn't turn my comms off. So, why did you not reply to me with Alpha 5010? Well, you see, 
Whilst you guys are talking nonsense over the comms, I was looking out of my uh, patrol car the window and I saw this real hot chick and uh, she's wearing a real tight set of hot pants and guess what? Alpha 5010, this is not an appropriate conversation for the comms. Oh please tell me Alpha 5010, what was the chick in the hot pants doing? Well, she had a visible panty line and I mean the uh, panties that she was wearing, she might as well not have worn any panties. I mean, it was like a little string. Wow. Wow. How big were her jugs? They're about a hand, maybe. Maybe a hand and a half. Alpha 5010, you're, to, you're ordered to return to base right now. And uh, why do I have to come back to base? Because the boss wants to talk to you and she is not happy with your conduct. She is listening to everything you're saying. This is Alpha 5010 to the boss. Can you uh, just chill out because I think you're on the rag. Alpha 5010, this is Dispatch. She has got absolutely red right now. Alpha 5010, what, like her knickers? Alpha 5010, you are ordered to return to base right now to face a disciplinary for abuse of the communications array and making malicious broadcasts. This is Alpha 5010, how about you tell the boss to get off the rag, get off her high horse and go fuck herself with that rotten cucumber in the bottom of the fridge. Dispatch to Alpha 5010, I have been told to inform you that you are fired, please return the patrol car back to base and we will see if you are entitled to your pension. This is Alpha 5010, you tell that boss that she can, that she can get fucked. I know that she ain't going to give me my pension whatsoever because she is on the rag and she is quite literally a raggy doll. <laughs> a raggy doll? What do you mean by that, Mr. Alpha 5010? A raggy doll, Mr. Vert, is a hot girl who's constantly on the rag. Hence the name, a raggy doll. Does she have pig jugs? Yeah, she's got big jugs. She's got three hands worth. Three hands, hey? They're big. That's real big. Yeah, I don't think they're real though. You don't, do you? Alpha 5010, your uh, communications is about to be cut. You are to return the car to base or face being arrested. Hey, dispatch, how about you go? Thank you for listening to Gumshoe. Percival Vert will be back with another case file next week. If you enjoyed today's content, why not check out our other fictional podcast, a tribute to men that hate their jobs. This podcast is about a man that is trapped in a job he hates because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We also have 30 Years Since, which is a sci-fi podcast set in a post-alien invasion Earth. Both links are in the description below. Master X Media also has a YouTube channel called The X Review, where Paul reviews and reacts to a different music video each and every day. The link is also in the description below. Don't forget to follow Master X Media on Facebook, Gab, Twitter and Parler. Once again, the links are in the description below. Thank you and we shall catch you soon.